Welcome back to BRMC's Healthy Connections. And I was going to go ahead, Lindsay, you've got some upcoming events and everything is being put together and the final touches are being put on everything. So tell us about what's coming up. Sure. So on January 5th, we have our open house. The phone can start ringing at that time and for appointments to be set up. On January 10th, at the Veda Shed Center, mm -hmm. we have an event which is a health expo from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. People can come for the whole day. They can stop in real quick if they just have a second. They could plan, you know, I would say probably an hour would give them um, time to experience all of the Pretty different good overview places. of what's being offered. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and these two ladies will be there. So Wonderful. they'll be able to meet them. Uh, they'll be able to to ask questions about yoga there. They'll be able to, um, you know, maybe even experience some of the poses there. And at the center, we will have um, our classes, three classes. We'll ha we have, I think, seven or eight classes that you can choose from from the week. Uh, mm -hmm. People can come to all of them if they wanted to. We have packages available to make them affordable. And uh, they will be open to everyone and the best way is probably to call or email me and mm -hmm. say you know um, your age or your ability or, or a question you know I, I have a back injury you, have you know you. what what class would would be a good fit for me and mm -hmm. I can guide them mm -hmm. um, my email right now is Lindsay l-i-n-d-s-e-y at Baxter regional dash integrative medicine dot com is a good way to reach me. You can always just call the hospital at 508-1000 and ask to be directed to the integrated medicine and they will get a hold of us. That would be wonderful. Right. Uh, but coming, definitely marking your calendar for, for January 10th, which is a Saturday from 9 to 2, and coming down to the Veda Shed Center and visiting with us is, is a good place to start. And I have a feeling that there's going to be lots more demonstrations going on regarding <laughs> yoga. That's wonderful. Absolutely. Melinda, we talked a little bit during the break. You were going to share some of the, there's a lot of medical um, data now that's been collected about the benefits right. to yoga and integrative medicine it's in general. Absolutely. Yoga is being used in many situations to treat conditions such as PTSD. It's been taking in, it's going into the prison systems to help prison population, um, children with autism, um, older adults. It can absolutely help as the integrative process does. <clears throat> pardon me, um, any condition that you can think of. Mm -hmm. um, even the other day, there, there's a, a woman who's doing uh, compiling research now on the aerobic benefits of yoga. We think of yoga as being just real gentle and stretching, mm -hmm. but it can be more aerobic. Mm -hmm. And just holding a posture for a longer period of time will start raising your heart rate and building some heat. I had a class yesterday, in fact, and, and that came up and said, well, no, let's just hold on, hang out here for a while. And then pretty soon the, the limbs are shaking a little bit. It's like, okay, time to you know, yeah. go ahead and release. Yeah. Um, so the uh, heart cardio health, mm -hmm. it's important. Mm -hmm. uh, bone density, osteopenia and osteoporosis, it's beneficial. But there have been many studies in the National Institutes of Health over the last several years where the data has been compiled so you can go out to the NIH if you really want to look something up mm -hmm. and, and find um, uh, abstracts on, on that research. Right. And I know Duke University has studies. Yes. Johns all, Hopkins has yes, studies. All those major medical yeah, centers they're, they're have. Um, actually, there's another um, wave coming of yoga as therapy as a yoga therapist and so there's ongoing certification mm -hmm. a lot of medical people are even taking training in that at those centers that mm -hmm. you just cited right and so that that's they really, exciting they Very can exciting. prove the benefits now right. mm -hmm. and a lot of those people will work one-on-one -on -one with with mm -hmm. a patient or a client as well and you're also going to be working one-on-one -on -one. yes i'm very excited about that to offer private private uh, classes to people through the integrative center. Mm -hmm. and, so, and some people learn that's the best way for them to learn something. It may there. be. There, there yeah. could be any condition that maybe people are self-conscious or unsure and, and so hopefully they can come in and put their mind to rest and, and enjoy um, an hour or so of a, of a nice mm -hmm. private session of mm -hmm. yoga. 
sounds wonderful. I'm often, I can often think of many years ago and all the group was going that way and <laughs> I was over there <laughs> thinking, huh, that dyslexia is getting me again, isn't it? <laughs> but I can't tell you how exciting this is for all of you to be a part of this and for the community as a whole. What, we're, what you're offering is just amazing. Um, would you go over, Lindsay, just a little bit how this all came about and talk about um, Dr. Bruton. We've had him on the show here yeah, before. Yeah, Dr. Bruton was on our last episode, and, and you could probably find that on the YouTube channel mm -hmm. and, and see that. That was a great, uh, he did a breathing exercise with us. He interacted with the audience. He did a great job. Uh, and Dr. Bruton is our medical director mm -hmm. for the center. Uh, he recently uh, just got back from a uh, fellowship in California where it was a fellowship for integrative medicine and so he's very um, excited about this he's also has personal experience mm -hmm. using integrative medicine using diet um, meditation and Tai Chi to um, lose weight and, and heal some of the ailments that he was developing so he's very passionate about this but he also has um, experience and and even took the extra step to go and get this this furthering mm -hmm. his education to learn more about integrative medicine we also have a uh, board of um, directors mm -hmm. that uh, are are all made of medical professionals and medical doctors and so they all kind of came together and said you know our area needs this our area has been asking for this mm -hmm. and we're going to provide it for them and we're going to do um, a very professional job of it and make sure that everyone that people come into contact with at the center are professionals who are licensed they're certified um, have great experience and are just nice people yeah <laughs> <laughs> and and it's it would be I always think of it from the physician's perspective having practiced someplace for a long period of time it would perhaps become discouraged dis you'd be discouraged um, to see people come in time after time after time and not really getting well uh, when in fact there are options open to them such as the integrative medicine whereby taking responsibility, considering and being open-minded about another alternative, that you may very well um, be able to get your help back to where you'd like it to be, where it needs to be. Exactly, okay. and, and the center is really designed to help professionally guide people. Um, I've talked with many people over the years who have looked on the internet or read this book or read that book, mm -hmm. and they end up getting really frustrated and they end up getting confused and they just say you know what I give up and so what we have done is um, to develop uh, a team of professionals to bring them together and help to guide people in a professional safe and caring way mm -hmm. and all of the classes now at this point in time probably will be over at the integrative center yes and, and we will eventually branch out as we grow in the mm -hmm. larger spaces but for now um, you're welcome to come and visit us on January 5th when we open at the center. We're next to the Schliemann Center, mm -hmm. that row of houses on Hospital Drive, the Pites Cancer House, and it goes down to the Schliemann. We're right next to the Women's Center there. Right, right between Fair Lamb Clinic and uh -huh. the Schliemann Center. Yeah, 610 yep. Broadmoor. 610. We, we, <laughs> thank goodness got that address correct. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we'd have all these business cards and everything else out there with the wrong address, but we got it. Um, this side of the street are all the, the positive numbers, yeah. So, well, ladies, I can't thank you enough well, for coming for in us. today. Thank you, that was We're delightful. Excited too, oh, I can tell. Um, I'm excited. When I heard the 7 a.m. class, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, that's <laughs> awesome. Um, it just fits that I could make that fit with my schedule very well Good. before coming to work. You're on record now. I <laughs> am. <laughs> I, you heard it here. And you have a purple mat on yeah. so. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Didn't give the water bottle, but uh, <laughs> I th I'm sure I can find that someplace too. Sure. Ladies, please come back in the new year um, and visit. Love to. All right. Love and to. we can talk about the successes that you're having with all the viewers that are going to come on January 5th for the open house of the new Baxter Regional Center for Integrative Medicine, of which Miss Lindsay is the director. And Rebecca and Melinda are gonna be there 
teaching yoga. We've got an acupuncturist. We've got Tai Chi instructors. We're going to have those on the show uh, as well in the next few weeks. So tune in again next time for BRMC's Healthy Connections. And thanks for joining us today.